Well, that part of it is, but there's a whole nother, there's a whole nother uh, residential lifestyle here. Like everybody don't go to the strip. Like you would see most, most locals, I would say shit, 80% of the locals don't go to the strip. Now me coming from Cleveland, a light, a nightlife city. This was up, man. Hold on right quick. Hold on. All right. Highway Kurt in the building. All right, man, we, we just going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it. We, uh, we we don't need to know no bad story on how you got your license and everything like that, man. You you went through the mud. You got your license. You out here doing the damn thing. How long you been driving so far? Right now, it's two years. Two years, my guy. Man. But first, let me just say this one thing. 216, stand up. 216 in the building. That's Represent our hometown. That's our me and lockout, man. You know, we go way back. It's before this truck. I mean, way, 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 way before we, this truck. Ooh, we way talking about we talking truck. about the basement. We talking man, about the, the right, snare. Right. We talking no, about see, Dow's rapid creations. We we talking see, about we we let, let, let me just say this to your YouTube viewers. They don't know how relevant you was in Cleveland, Ohio. Holding it down on St. Clair, on St. Clair. Let me let that be known to everybody. Lockout man was in the hood doing his thing way before this trucking, way before this trucking. So I want y'all to know why y'all be talking about my man. My man is a G. He a legend in Cleveland. Just look him up. Look him up. Look him up. That's all I gotta say. I've been wanting man, to say that for years. Man, I've been thank wanting to say you. that for years. Thank you. Thank he is, you. He, is, he, he put it down in Cleveland, Ohio, on St. Clair. Thank you. Thank you. One of the realest shops in Cleveland. Thank you, he man. Said I, top 10 in Cleveland. Don't nobody know that because don't nobody know you like that. Before all this trucking and YouTube, my man put it down on St. Clair. I used to go to his shop all the time and put up the posters. Yeah, when we I was doing street team. And I would go to his shop, put up the posters because he had the music shop and the beepers and the cell phones. And he was putting it down in Cleveland, Ohio, in, on St. Clair. Now, we can get to the truck. And I just want your audience to know that because they be fronting like you ain't putting it down like you ain't no real G. You a real G. A real G. Take it from a real G from East Cleveland, Ohio, or St. Or Superior myself. But, but lockout man is the truth. Now, let me just say that, and we can continue on. Man, <laughs> I, I want to say I, from the bottom of my heart, man, from one real one to another, thank you for the flowers, man. I No problem. You deserve them. I really appreciate it. I, I really do, because we 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 came up, man. We, we came That's up right. in the... We came up in the hustle game. We came That's up right. in the music game. We came That's up in right. the DJ game. That's right. Uh, and 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 thank you for recognizing that that the music store on St. Clair, which was also for for people in the know, was Bone. Well, it it was affiliated with Bone Thugs and Harmony, yes, but it was right. one of their. It was one of their family members that had the store first before I took it over. That's right. So, That's right. Thank you very right. much, man. I, no I really, really, really appreciate stop playing it. With you. They need to stop playing with you. That's all I want to say. They need to stop playing with you because you ain't flexed your muscles. And I'll be mad. We didn't have plenty of conversations off on, on our own, and they need to stop playing with you for real. For I appreciate real. it. Thank you for thank you for the flowers, okay. man. All right, so years later, uh, as a matter of fact, you uh, you you moved uh, from Cleveland. Uh, yes. The last, I think, I think the last time we touched base, man, we was we we linked up at the Roots Barbershop. Yes. Uh, on yes. on uh, on Superior, and mm -hmm. we was, uh, I think I came in there and I was looking for, oh uh, man, I was looking for the. Rad right, and quick. Quick, yep. Mm -hmm. I was looking yeah. for the rad and quick, and you was the only one that had the uh, had the mixtape I was looking for. 
I, 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 I said, <laughs> man, I had to go in here and, and holler at my guy, Kurt, yep. right quick. He had the mistake. Actually, you had. All, I think they only made three of them, didn't they? They they no, made. No, actually, they made six. They, they made, made six. They made six, but yeah, they made six all, all together. And I'll be trying to get him. Uh, shout out to Quick. He be doing his thing in, in Columbus. Shout out to my man Rad. They still cutting, but they up in Richmond now. They right across the street from Richmond Mall right now. Shout out to my boys Dez and Rad. They up there on Superior. They was on Superior. I, I correct myself. They in Richmond Heights now. They up in Richmond Heights right across from the mall. They still Rad and Quick is yes, is yes. is is a legend. Is is one of the legend legendary DJs in Cleveland. I mean, we yep. we still got a uh, legendary DJ Chicago, legendary DJ yes, Fatty yes. Banks. Shout out. shout out, shout out to my boy. Those Scratch those Master L. Scratch Master Scratch L. L. I mean, uh, let's go on. Let's yeah. go on. And those was the originators of the of of the of the wax. We're That's not right. talking about the digital. We're not talking no, about no. the computer. No. We're talking about Pull out the crate, Definitely DJ. Back break, back breaking. <laughs> remember, remember the Cotton Club right there on oh, uh, on uh, on on Miles. Man, we, can't, we can't, we can't, we can't get them the, all this information. The, like millennium, that, the, the, the millennium, the the millennium, and, and, and the oh, 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 don't don't forget the Mirage. The Mirage. Mm. Shout out to the photo. Mm. Shout out. Man, come on, man. Let's go on, man. man. Let's go on. Let's go on. It, it's, it was a beautiful time. It, it was a beautiful time. Beautiful when, time when, when, when that cut parking lot pimping was made, they made that for for Cleveland clubs, bro, because that's Definitely. exactly what we was doing on Friday. Oh, what was it? Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night, man. And Man, come on now. Come Cleveland, Cleveland club scene held it down on the weekend. Definitely did. We started. We we started. We we started at uh, We we started at the uh, at the Millennium on Friday. <laughs> the Cotton Club well, me, on me, Saturday. And hey, hold on, I mean, hold on. We uh, finished up with the Mirage Jeans and Moet on Owet. Sundays. Yeah. On Sunday. Yeah, Come on, true. man. That's true. That's true. That's true. That Come so on, true. man! Here, drink this coffee. I don't like coffee. It's a vassal constrictor. Hey, coffee is the number one drink in the world. Everybody drinks it. Even little kids in Mexico drink coffee. Well, I'm not a little kid in Mexico, okay? I mean, it used to be busloads, people coming from Pittsburgh, all the surrounding areas, just to come to the Mirage, man. Just to come. It'd be, it'd be shit, two, 3,000 people in the Mirage on a Sunday night, jeans on my way. Yes, hey, sir. It, it go down. It Scratch go down. Master Hill. I mean, Scratch Master L held it yeah. down. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's he did my his man thing. To this day. Menace, Menace DJ stand up. Baby. Menace DJ. As a matter of fact, Nerve DJs just had they uh had their twentieth yeah. celebration at the uh at the Rock, Rock Hall Road. this past yes, this couple did. of week ago. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yep. But I was out here. I was at Vegas, so you know. But yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, talk about let's day. let's talk about the move, man. What? Yeah, man. It was um. Well, as you know, I mean, Cleveland has started getting. It was getting crazy. I just felt like it was uh. It was time to make a move. It was just time to make a move. I was older, you know. The streets had definitely dried up. It wasn't really nothing there for me. So I just I, at the time I was working at Cheesecake Factory in Beachwood. So I just transferred. Me and my girl, we just transferred out. Um, I transferred from Cheesecake Factory and uh, to the Cheesecake Factory out here in Vegas and started from scratch. I, I left Cleveland with just my uniform. I sold everything and just came on out. And um, during the pandemic, um, just like everybody else, I saved my money. Well, I, yeah, I saved my money. And um, I went to CR England to get my um, my CDLs because my license was terrible. Well, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up before we be, be, before we talking about the CDL journey. The, okay. the journey of the Cheesecake Factory was was big like that, bro. I mean, you just went to to the manager and like, yo, man, I, I need to transfer out oh, to yeah, uh, Vegas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. 
Yeah, I was at Cheesecake, Cheesecake Factory. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can try. I mean, they 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 everywhere. Right, so but get, I I didn't know. Transfer. Right, I yeah. didn't know you can do it like that, man. Oh yeah, yeah, you can transfer. I mean, as long as you've been there over a year and you good with your um, general manager, yeah, they, you can transfer anywhere. You, matter of fact, it's encouraged. They give you like when they when they have new restaurants opening up. They encourage you to, you know, move around. If you want to move to another state, if they got a new restaurant opening up, they'll pay for you to go there and everything. I mean, it's it's encouraged. Out of all the states that you that you chose, because at the time, I, I believe at the time you left, everybody was kind of migrating down to Atlanta, Georgia, North Carolina. But yeah. you chose yeah. Vegas. Vegas. Well, well, for one, my girl. She wanted to come to Vegas. She had did her research. And two, my dad stayed out here. My dad is out here. So it wasn't like I was I was coming out just blind. I, I had family out here. The consensus out in Vegas is that being that it's in the desert for one, uh number two was that it's nothing but gambling jobs out there. What's 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 the real consensus? No. What's what's the real no. consensus out I mean, there since got, you've been they, living out there? They got regular. I mean, this construction is heavy out here because they're constantly building. Um, I mean, there's regular jobs. I mean, the same jobs as everywhere else. Now, is there more casino houses? Well, we don't call them casino jobs. They're hospitality jobs because the hospitality is number one out here. Like. Even for example, even if you try to work at McDonald's, you have to get a food handling card. Like you can't just go anywhere and get a and get a food job and just walk in there. You have to have credentials. You have to go get a a, a food handling card to be a bartender. You got to go get liquor license and all this type of stuff. Like it's really regulated out here because it is such big business out here, but you can be a teacher, a secretary, uh, uh, a damn um, HVAC is big out here because it's so hot, you know, in your, in your air conditioning breaks, they need people to fix the air conditioners. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's, there's regular jobs, school bus, every, anything that you do in your town, there's here, except like you said, the hospitality is, key out here it's, it's it's like okay hospitality is like lincoln electric back at the house like everybody wanted to go to lincoln electric you know what i'm saying because it's a union out here with the hospitality it's not you're not just you're not just making up beds it's a union behind that that's strong like damn near a hundred thousand people strong you know what i'm saying because people that work in hospitality they live they live in the city everybody don't live on the strip this city's full of people <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Vegas nightlife out there is—is is it true? Uh, well, is—is is the reality of Vegas portrayed on the TV? Is the reality of Vegas what you actually see out there? Well, that part of it is, but there's a whole nother, there's a whole nother uh, residential lifestyle here. Like everybody don't go to the strip. Like you would see most most locals, I would say shit, eighty percent of the locals don't go to the strip. Now me coming from Cleveland, a light a nightlife city, where I grew up at, I love going down to the strip. But most people that's from California or migrate, they don't go down to the strip. They they have it's it's stuff inside the city that you can do if not better. Like for you, like you like to gamble. The odds is better on, on outside of the strip. So if you came here and you wanted to gamble, you wouldn't gamble on the strip. You would either go downtown or come into the city because your odds are better. And and it's lower. Um, they start off like, like you can shoot dice for $3 in the city as opposed to the, the minimum on the strip is like maybe $10, $15, $25. You know what I'm saying? So you can gamble anywhere here, but most people, most local people don't go down to the strip. It's, it's 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 like that everywhere. Like like down in Florida, how everybody will migrate. They will they will do the Disney. They'll do Universal. But the locals, they 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 so used to it. They like, oh okay, we've been there, done that. We about to go to the city pool down the street. We don't need to. Yeah. We we don't need to go to Universal yeah. or nothing like that. 
And just like here, like here in Cleveland, we got our 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 little landmarks and all like that, like the Rock right. Hall of Fame and stuff like that. Yeah, once we go in there, we see everything. It's okay. Um, how about a smoothie? What's in that? Smoothie's a juice drink. We want coffee. Buddy, relax. I would just say, like, here is is. It's 10 times more attractions. Like, for instance, like I went to the Usher show. Like, you can do stuff on the strip that you're normally not going to get in your home, in, in, in your regular hometown, because this is Vegas. So, you're going to like, you can get, you. there's local specials. Like, it's, it's, it's different. It's, it's hard to explain. Like, I like, it, it really is kind of different. You can do both. Like, if you choose not to go on the strip, you can still do the same thing in town. If you choose to go on the strip, you can. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like me and my girl, man, we go down there like we just got off the plane. You know what I'm saying? We we take in, we soak it up. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't, but we choose to soak it up. We go down there, we get us a bottle, we go down there, drink, kick it, get the local specials, and, and be down there just like you know, we got off the plane like everybody else. Uh, what about the alternative? uh life sting down there like i heard a lot of a lot of myths about uh about vegas's uh sets life scene down there like in well, vegas is le it, it, in vegas is not legal but it is legal outside i mean outside of vegas but it's legal it's not legal in Ve vegas how how is that work if, if you can if you can talk about that Prostitution is not legal in, in the city limits of, of Las Vegas. You have to go out to what they call, it's like a pahrump. It's like, it's like going from Cleveland to Akron. You know what I'm saying? Like in the city limits, you are not allowed. Prostitution is not legal. They have brothels that's like 60 miles away from, from the strip. In certain parts of... Uh, of, of Nevada, it is legal. They have brothels. So it's nowhere near the strip. Now, is it loosely enforced? I would say so, but it's technically not. They It's technically not legal. Just like marijuana. Like marijuana is legal here. You're going to smell it on the strip. They're not going to just pull you over because you smoke a weed walking down the strip. Because, I mean, they, they, they have, they dare be doing that. You know what I'm saying? But it's not legal to just walk up and down the street and smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? It's because it is legal here, like marijuana. It's it's legal here. Like it's it's like it like it's marathons in Cleveland. It's it's dispensaries in Vegas. It, they everywhere. Like you 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 can go everywhere. But as far as the prostitution, it's not legal in Vegas. In oh, okay. City, in Clark County, it's not legal. Okay, okay. But it is but it is Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> you said it what what stays was what done in right. Vegas right. stays in Vegas. Right. But you got but, other uh, than but, trucking. <laughs> because you right. gotta move out now, of Vegas. No, now let me just say this about the trucking. Uh it is very hard to obtain local positions here. Like trucking is not because now I will say this now. Within the next two to three years, that might change because they are uh, building a lot. And when I say a lot, a lot of warehouses here. Amazon's taking over. Walmart is taking over. I mean, there there are warehouses that, that wasn't here uh, six years ago when I came. It's an abundance of them right now. They're building them all over. So that, that fashion might change. But as of right now, um, local jobs and trucking, it's it's very hard. It's very hard, and that's part of my journey that I wanted to talk about too. Uh, we still on we still on Vegas though. Um, there it is. There it is. You, no problem. You was you was around when um, when Vegas got the football team. They they the they up they uproot, they uprooted the Raiders. You guys got the Raiders. Y'all got a got new football stadium, which looks very nice, by the way. How oh, yeah, was that? Beautiful. How was the atmosphere 
uh, because you was there doing all the doing all of that transition. Right. Oh, oh, so man, how was the beautiful. atmosphere down there when you guys found out that y'all was getting a football team in the new stadium? It was, it, it was beautiful because for one, it, it created jobs. You got more jobs. Like I said, this is the hospitality capital of the world. So it created jobs in, but on the bad side, you had a lot of people from from California that moved to Vegas. For one, it's cheaper than than California. So you had a lot of those people from Southern California. Not so much Oakland, like people think it is, because Oakland is like it's way, it's like eight, nine, ten hours away from Vegas. Oakland is way up California, but the so, but the your Southern California, oh yeah, they were coming in here in droves, bro. It drove the house prices up because you can get so much for your uh, money here with your housing. It was incredible, man. Everybody from California started coming here once the team got here. It was going crazy. It was it was nuts then, man. When the team got there, and and y'all they they had their first football game did did you if i'm not mistaken i think you took a picture did did, did you partake in the football game at the stadium no no i just went you do you know you just go see the stadium i didn't i didn't um i haven't been in there actually yet um uh, but we definitely i'm planning on definitely going i'm going to need you to go to the to the team store and i'm mm-hmm. i'm going to need a i'm, I'm going to need a, a a raiders hat i'm going to need one i got you i'm going to need one you. No all right, man. So, all right. So, Vegas, living it up. You and your wife, man, doing it big. Uh, the pandemic hit, of course. Uh, you you was around doing that transition as well. We saw we we saw it on TV that when the pandemic hit, Vegas was like a ghost town. How oh, was it? Man. How how was it for you? seeing all that if you could if you was able to get out there to see all of that going on and i i believe oh. you were still with the cheesecake factory right so right. that did affect right. you right well it did that's what made me get into trucking we'll talk about that later but um yeah it was a ghost town because everything shut down so all the restaurants shut down all the strips shut down all the, it was a ghost town around here Nothing was up because really it hasn't fully recovered. Because now you think when I first got here, this town, everything was 24 hours a day. I don't care if your window broke, if you wanted to go buy some rubber bands, that business was open 24 hours. It didn't stop. After the pandemic, things slowed down. Things were closing. Everything is not open 24 hours like it used to be. So we still are affected by the pandemic. It's not a 24 town as we used to know it now some things are starting to come back and i think next year everything will start going getting back to really normal normal but it really hasn't been normal like when i first got here when i first got here everything was 24 hours so when the pandemic hit it just shut everything down i mean everything was shut down we it was nothing it was nothing locked out it was nothing it, we all was in the house it was nothing and as that gradually, as that as it started to open, then you had everything that was like 25%. You only can have so many people. So, but then the good thing was that, it was, let me just say this, the good and bad thing about that was the hotels started to open, right? And then things became cheaper. So now you brought a whole different class of people that was coming in here, man. People was renting scooters, man, riding them down the elevators, riding up in the middle of the streets, man. It was chaotic, man. You just smelled weed in all the hotels because like they were giving away hotel rooms. Like you can get a hotel room for $10. You know, they was trying to recoup their money and, and that was bringing the wrong, the wrong crowd to vegas you know what i'm saying it, it was it was it was terrible actually man you know because it was it was a it was a terrible time and then as everything started opening up now now rooms is back to normal now you ain't gonna get no ten dollar room now like you can get a ten dollar room up in caesars during that time and you get it that would normally cost two hundred dollars a night you getting it for ten <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it was it was crazy man it was crazy you say ten. You say ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. They had ten dollar rooms back when the pandemic happened. What? Because it was no. Because you had flight restrictions. You had all kind of things that was they couldn't make no money. 
They couldn't, everything wasn't open. You couldn't fly. Everybody couldn't fly. Everything was shut down. So you have mostly people from, from California, Utah, Phoenix. You had all these people that can just drive here. So whatever was open, that's what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? So they had to try to make their money. But as things started to get to 25, 50, and 75, then open. Yeah, but you had your seating restrictions. But during that time, man, you could get a room. Like I say, you can get a room for ten dollars, man. Ten dollars. So ten dollars. Jeez. Yep. But not no more. <laughs> <laughs> you say not no more. <laughs> oh no, that's over with, player. That's over with. Uh being that uh that the pandemic came in and 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 just changed the outlook of everything before we touch on one one more thing before we touch on uh before we touch on that uh the popular show uh Pawn Stars is of course located out in Vegas uh I'm not sure where they located located but um have you have you uh went into the to the to the shop have you went over there to see nah. what the shop is about drink the coffee it'll make you feel better no nah, i haven't been over there no nah, i can't say i have i i can say the only show that i've really been to down there was usher okay the only show i've been to like I say, locals, we we take it for granted oh i go to i go tomorrow oh i go to, because it's right here I, I live like 20 minutes from the strip. So, you know, things that other people would just be dying for, we just take it for granted. You know what I'm saying? That's like the Rock Hall. Like, how many times have you been to the Rock Hall? Once. Exactly. But it's right down the street from you. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I, I, I come up every you time. Every time, every time I come up Route 2, they head over to the... Uh, come they on, head over man. to the Jack. I pass it every time. Every day. Exactly. Every so, time. Things that, that people would be, be dying to see or 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 go to like we just be like ah I go to, I go tomorrow ah, I go next time yeah, go. Yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah it's, it's, yeah it's just it's just normal you know what I'm saying it's just normal yeah, yeah so, whatever right 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 <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> I mean whatever oh uh, whatever, whatever. Okay. yeah yeah it, it, it's but as you can see as you can see from my Facebook and Instagram you know I go out to eat. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah I, yeah I you're kind of, yeah you're kind of oh, sore. Yeah. I, you're oh, kind of sore. I, I'd have been all the fine dining restaurants around this boy. I'd have been all of them. All right. I still got a couple ones on my bucket list, but yeah, I definitely partake in that. All right, definitely that's what's up, that. man. All right, so again, uh, pandemic shut down everything affected you again. Uh, of course, the cheesecake factory pretty much was hit hard. Uh, you had to you 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 had to do some other things. Why? Wh where did trucking, or where did the idea of trucking come into play for you? Okay, so one was that my brother and my daughter was already in trucking. So when the pandemic hit, wait, we stop, getting... stop, stop, daughter. Okay, daughter. Yeah, my daughter. Daughter. My oldest daughter. How old, oldest daughter. How old are you, bro? Take, I would be 55 Sunday. Oh, my God. I didn't realize you was that. I didn't know you was my age. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be 55 Sunday. Bro. Okay, continue. My fault. I, I didn't mean to stop you, but go no, ahead. Yeah, so. Uh, you, just no, me off with the, you just threw me off with the daughter. And then trucking. Yeah, my daughter. I'm see my daughter 34, 35, something like that. Yeah, yeah my kid, he's 20. 35. He's 27, pushing 30 in a minute. Yeah, my, yeah, my oldest is, is 30 something. Okay, so okay, go. my younger brother, my younger brother and my daughter, they, they had already had their CDL. So so once <clears throat> I was saving my little pandemic money, so I had to get my license. Man, EC took me through the ringer, bro. EC made me pay like a thousand dollars for some shit I did in 1992, bro. They would not Cleveland, Cleveland Heights, all them dropped it. Man, EC still wanted their little thousand dollars. So <clears throat> you know how that goes. So, so after that, I was like, okay, I want to get my CDL. So I was like, I'm just gonna be a local job. I'm just gonna 
you know, I just want to drive. I just want to do something simple. I'm just going to get my B. And my daughter and brother was like, no, nah, man, you need to go get your A license. You need to go get all that. You need to get that. So, okay. So I finally got my license. So <clears throat> when I went to go get my CDLs and I was looking, now, hold on. Let me go to the backstory on that. So once I, once, once I, um, once I um, decided that I wanted to go trucking, of course, what did I do? I hit YouTube. And who do I see? I said, I just know this dude ain't. I don't really want to say what I wanted to say, but I'm like, I know him. I said, he got a YouTube channel? I said, what? And I looked at your, vid and looked at your videos. I looked at your video. I did the YouTube University. I looked at you and several other truckers, but the fact that I knew you personally just threw me for a loop. I, I didn't even know you was in trucking because I had been gone. You know what I'm saying? I had been gone. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know. So when I seen it, I was like, I know him. And I just started watching videos and and <clears throat> and then I went to CR England. Now, let me just explain to everybody out there. My license wasn't up to par and they was the only ones that would take me i applied to everywhere like let me just how bad my license was when i finally got my license the last time i had a license legit was in 2001 it was in 2001 was the last time remember remember when um cleveland was doing all those um um you could go get. You had to go to the church and go to the um the the um man. What was they calling it back then? Remember when you could go get your license back and stuff? While they made you go through the little programs at the church and hundred and five and way out. You don't remember that? Yeah, I had, I I would go do that and incomplete them. So my license was bad, but CR England was the only ones that took. Me. Of course, they took me. Boom. So I went there. I got I. Man, I did. I got my license. I got that was like the worst and the best thing ever. I got my license, so I'm going out with a trainer. This dude, if you if you've been through if you've been to um on the 15 going through Arizona, it's this hill called the Gourd. Are you familiar with that? Okay, okay. If you if you go out of if you come out of out of Nevada on the 15 north going to Utah, you go into Arizona. It's this hill called the Gore. Now, I've never drove a never drove a truck besides road road testing at CR England. This dude had me going down this hill, this mountain, not even a hill, a mountain in the rain at night driving down this hill. I said, I know this ain't about to be right. So after I went through all that, I left CR England. I didn't, I didn't even stay for the upgrade. I just got my license, came home, and then I went to I went to night. Went to night. I was still like like when you knew in the trucking, man, you do things like I've been in there two years now. You just do things your first couple months that you regret you do. So when I went there, I did ports, it was cool, but then I got frustrated. I quit there. And I, I found a little local job. Okay, cool. I found, um, it's called Universal Logistics. I found there. But then they weren't giving you enough hours. At that time, the railroads was, did you remember when the railroads was having a strike? Did you remember that when they, was, when they was going on strike? Okay, so that affected my money. Left there. Went back tonight. <laughs> then got frustrated again. Then I went to Cowan. So I ended up staying in Cowan the longest out of all of them. That was like pulling teeth, man. Management up there, they didn't like us. They didn't like the Vegas people because we were able to basically be home during the week. We would we would go, we would leave, go to LA, pick up something in LA, come back. We can come home because they would have us go from from LA to um to Utah. So during that time, we were able to take our 10 hours at home. They they didn't like that. Drivers was quitting. Quit that, and now I'm back at night transportation. What a hell of a journey, man! Journey. So we start. So we started at CR England. Yes. Went, went over to went over. You said bump. You said bump CR England. Just go in. Let me get my license and just bounce. Did you? Let me tell you what. Let did me you tell you went, what CR England? 
Let me hold on. Let me just tell you, that was like going in the county. Let me tell you, if I didn't, if I did not save my money from the pandemic, I had a little change on me. Man, it was like going in the county, bro. If anybody been to CR England, Utah campus, you know how to, man, I left. I went to the hotel. I said, man, I'm not staying up in here, bro. I'm not staying back. Man, it was like the county, bro. I seen three fights because people coming in in the middle of the night, you know, they, you know, they bring you in from all top of everywhere, right? So you, you, it's like six or eight of us in one room and you cut on the light. Oh man, I done seen about three fights. It only took, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm out this boy. I'm gone, brother. This ain't, this ain't it. So I went to the hotel, but yeah, that, that was another story. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't need to cut you off. Uh, no, 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 no. You good, bro. I'm just sitting back relaxing and listening, <laughs> enjoying the ride, man. So, yeah. so you got your, so you got your license through CR yes. England. And yes. Did you have to sign some type of contract before you bounced up out of there? What was the repercussions of if you leave? Of course I did. I'm still paying on it now. <laughs> of course I did. But I didn't even care. I didn't care. I think a lot. I was like, I think. Huh? I think at the time, I, I think at the time, a lot of people didn't care. I, I, no. I even, I, 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 I don't suggest this for anybody, but. I I at one point said that if you really want to get your license and just get your license, I I would suggest you go to CR England because from the conversations that I had with people before when they was getting their license, it, it seems as though CR England would be the easiest place to to get your CDL. At, at it's least. Definitely. Put that coffee down the easiest place it's definitely now did i i would say i had one of the hardest trainers there i forget the dude name everybody know who i'm talking about if you've been to cr england he was thorough he was thorough in his in cab he was very thorough he was thorough on, on his inspection but i would say what you're going to lack thereof is your backing because there's so many people there it's like I mean, my class, when I went there, it was damn near 100 people there. Like, they, it's a little auditorium, and damn near every seat was filled. Now, do the people thinking you could just go in there and, and your dirty urine, they're going to they're gonna kick you out. It went from, like, 100 to 65 to about the time I got my CDLs, it was maybe 35 of us. Did I still think that was a lot of people because you don't get a chance to do your backing because you may think you're there all day, but if it's – 10 12 people in your line trying to back you don't get you don't get that you know what i'm saying you don't get the experience of that you only gonna get it when you get on the road so i was like ah it's cool but like i said if you want to get your cdls that's the place to go if you just want to get it real fast because you're going to be out of there in 10 days brother you're going to only be there 10 days you're not going to be there months you're going to be there days. You said 10 yep. days and you're done. Mm -hmm. As my man, what my man saying, paying for 10 days, B, 10 days. <laughs> 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 oh, man. So, so from CR England to night, right. you did, right. you did a stint with night. Why, why did you right. leave? Why did you leave night the first time? Inexperience. Inexperience. Dumb being dumb. Okay. And, uh, but shout out to my man Eddie. That was my trainer at night. We still cool to this day. That's my dude. I had the best. I I I have nothing but good things to say about night. I went back for the third time. I'm I'm still there. I just was young in the game. And I was just I was just irritated with little stuff and just leave. And I think all young people do that. You know, not, and when I say young, I don't mean age, I mean young in the game. You know what I'm saying? When things don't go your way. Oh shit! I'ma leave. I go get any job, but out here it was rough. It'll teach you. You got to stick it out. It, you got to stick it, it out. You said it'll humble you, pretty much. It, 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 oh yeah, it'll humble you, bro. It'll humble you. It'll humble you. It'll All right. You. So night the Cowan. How how long you was with Cow? Am I pronouncing it right, Cowan? Yeah, it's. It, I was there too long. <laughs> I, I was there too long. So, too long. so what happened? What 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 happened with them? Well, to me, it's the management. 
it's the management in in the Utah in the Utah uh, terminal. You know, they 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 had a they like they will run you like you get paid by the miles, okay? You get paid by the miles, but they want to run you through your clock. So so for instance, if you if you say okay, I'm supposed to be there Monday through Friday, right? And you say Friday, you may have just say thirty hours, but you didn't ran you didn't ran like. 2,000, 2,500 miles for the week. You're doing a good run. No, they, they don't want you to go home. They want you to run that clock out. They don't run you during the days. They run. A, they want you to run all that clock. Now, you may say, well, Dad, why, why wouldn't you want to do that? Yeah, they're going to run you through that clock because they're going to run you as a local person and not going to pay you, and they're going to run you all through California. And you're not getting paid. You're not getting paid to do that. You're not dropping the hook. You're doing live loads. It's going to take you two, three hours. You're just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? The tension ain't, ain't that much. So you're not making no money. You're just sitting there. And you in California all day as, as if you live there. You might as well go and get your house out there. So I had a problem with that. And, and I just left. I said, I'm not. You can't beat them. Just leave. <laughs> you say can't if he if he can't if he can't join them just leave if can't beat them don't try to join them huh? Mm-mm, no, no, but now now I, I suggest all young drivers please be patient. I've seen on a lot of a lot of channels where people would just leave. Like I'm not really a job hopper like that. You know I stayed at Cheesecake for nine years. You know what I'm saying? But I just it just felt. I felt it was it was mainly my fault too though. You know what I'm saying? My inexperience in trucking. Like I shouldn't have never left night the first time. Being that we out here, they give you the flexibility of being you you on the road, but you but you local too. You know what I'm saying? You can come home, they don't bother you. All these other companies, man, they they a trip, man. It's a trip. It's a trip. It's a trip. Shout out to Knight, man. My guy D Nitty, nine years, damn near ten years with uh and with I'm, Knight. And he's and out of the uh, he he's out of he's out of the Utah. Um he's off the, out of the Utah brand. Um Knight Swift just recently acquired US Express. How 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 is that affecting you guys as far as freight goes? I mean, it don't. I'm in ports, so so it don't really affect me as much as as I guess maybe driving. I I can't even really speak on that. I just heard about that. I can't really speak on that, my guy. I I don't I don't know how is that because like I said, even with the Swift, like we don't have we don't we don't have nothing to do with Swift. You know what I'm saying? Like like it's ran totally separate. You see what I'm saying? Like we don't have no. Swift and Knight don't have nothing far as out west. We don't we don't intertwine like that. I'm if hearing you, that I'm I'm hearing that a lot from from drivers that works at different uh entities of mm-hmm. of Knight. And a lot of people don't don't know that Knight owns a lot yeah. of trucking companies. Your your favorite yeah. your favorite trucking company that you might be driving for right now is probably owned by <laughs> Knight. You know and what I'm they, saying? Man, hey, hey, and yes, they are. And it's more to come. It's more to come. It's more to come. Like people don't know Swift, Swift and by Knight. Knight bought Swift. It's not Swift bought Knight. It's Knight bought Swift. That's what people got to understand. It's not oh Swift and no Knight bought Swift. No, they 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 trying to say at one point that uh, Swift and Knight. I think the, the office, somebody in the head office, was related, and they broke off on one another. I, I don't know the backstory of all of that. It's I, all I don't know the it's, like yeah, it's either. it's all bib bibbidi boop. At at this point, we just we just know that Knight Swift as a conglomerate right now, and and again, yeah. a lot of these new drivers that's coming in over here talking about what I I drive for Knight, but then I go ahead and and leave Knight, and I can drive for another company, but that other company that you're going to, 
might it's be a night of fli- uh night affiliate Affili- because you that's true. You you over here bad mouthing night on videos right. on social media right. and all like that, and you right. think you're gonna you think you're gonna get into this new company to, just to find out that hey we we can't bring you in why? why? Yeah, we're right. we're, affili- we're affiliated with night really right and so then you of, be careful of course they'll come back and make another social media video like hey this company right here such and such right here is <laughs> they didn't bring me in because night is this that and the third so sometimes right. it's better not to not to not to vent about the company and that's what i tell people too like don't i mean if the company's doing you bad or whatever the case may be wait until you actually leave the company and then vent about it that's that's what I that's that's what I say. Like right yeah. now, like for me, I I let it everybody know that I was I was with US Express. Uh when I was with US Express, I was talking about US Express. As a matter of fact, I was promoting US Express. When I got uh, with JNR Schwugel, same thing. But when I right. got with my smaller companies in 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 Ohio, I, I ain't mentioned nothing about I ain't mentioned nothing about them because like, hey, you guys don't need to know where I work at. Don't need you guys to right. do this, that, and the third. If you see me out right. here, you see me out here, you see what I'm driving, cool, cool. But I, I'm not gonna talk I'm not gonna talk about it. Nobody knew right. that I worked that I drew for uh uh Rooster Motorways until I actually started talking about them after I left. Oh, right. Yeah. So yeah. that's that, well, that's my thing. I I understand if the company do you wrong or whatever. Yeah, with the exception of controversial company in Chicago that we going to keep name nameless. Man, they, <laughs> they just man, they act like they ain't no social media. They act like they still doing people bad. Like y'all ain't, like y'all ain't on social media. Y'all, y'all don't hear nothing people saying about y'all. <laughs> Or they don't care. I mean, but they, they I, just don't care, bro. I, I get I, I get backlash because I, I guess now everybody, a few people now is associating my content or what controversial company that would name name this right. in Chicago. And I and I just tell them that, you know, I, I'm the host. Yeah. <laughs> people reach like out, say, people reach out to care, me. Man. <laughs> don't care. Right, these people reach care. out to me and and mm-hmm. they tell their stories and they want they they want somebody to hear it. They want somebody to to conversate with it. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's what I am. All yeah, right, man. man. Well, cr- yeah, man. It was great. It was great talking to you, my guy. You hey, I appreciate know, the conversation, <laughs> bro. Finally got it in, you know, man. You already know Cleveland stand up, baby. Stand hey, let's up. let's see if you let's see if where 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 this is from. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Damn good coffee and hot. <laughs> Man, you trying to you trying to sell my telegrams? This 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 how this how we gonna do it. We gonna go midnight. Um, channel eight. You know what I'm saying? Hulahan and Big Chuck, baby. Hulahan and Big Chuck. <laughs> and then and then if you're a real OG, you know about the ghoul. And now if you don't know about the ghoul, then you ain't really from Cleveland, baby. Nah. Now nah, wait. You know no, now ghoul, you wait. 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 You you going yeah. back? You going yeah, back because see, the because see the, yeah. the 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 later years it was Big Chuck and Little John. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gonna go with the girl. We gonna but go we with going the with the originators yeah. of it. It was yeah, Hulahan and Big man. Chuck, and right. then it right. was the Ghoul before yeah. that. That little John, that's in the eighties and nineties. Yes, I mean, sir. That's in the nineties. That's in the nineties. We going seventies, eighties, baby. Oh uh, man, when, I, when, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's since, go there. Uh, yo, since since we talking about we since we talking about local TV stations, bro. Mm-hmm. What about mm-hmm. channel? What about channel forty three, my guy? Every oh, Saturday yeah. morning. Who who Come on, man. who who who's every Saturday morning, bro? Come on, come on. Every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning. Oh no! Tell me, I, I, you you stopped me on that. Super one. host, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. That was, he was cool. He was cool. He he wasn't a ghoul though. He wasn't a ghoul. He was cool though. Super host was cool, but he wasn't a ghoul. He wasn't a ghoul. The ghoul was cool. 
Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Hey, I appreciate to you too, it, man. It, it's, so still, we... it, it's still it's still 87 degrees out here, baby. I'm out on, on the porch smoking a cigar, you know, relaxing. You understand me? Oh, yeah, that's you know, right. We got to we gotta touch on that right quick before you get out of here, man. <laughs> Yo, you, you're a cigar connoisseur. Oh, yeah, man. When I when I stopped smoking weed, man, it, it, um, the dry trucks, man, I got into cigars, man, and I and I really enjoy it, man. I go it, to the, it's a lot. It's a lot of cigar bars out here too, you know. Black owned, by the way. Is it but, is it true that some that some cigars are like illegal? Like I'm, I heard like, ain't the Cuban? Oh, I'm quite sure they is. I'm quite sure they is. But out here. I, I no, mean, no, 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 not person. not illegal. No, not illegal to smoke. Uh, some no, like I know what you're talking about. To, 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 to have. have, yeah, yeah. I haven't ran across them. I haven't ran across them yet. I definitely haven't ran across. But I could definitely ask my dude, and he'll tell me which ones are not. But for the most part, it's so you got so many here. Like it's not, it's not. See, like Cleveland, like I, out here, everything is in abundance. So. To smoke an illegal cigar, I mean, not you would just really, really have to be a real, 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 real connoisseur. I'm just a connoisseur. Now, maybe next year sometime when I get my big-ass humidor and shit that's in the house and all that, and it's, it's, it's six feet tall and I got 2,000 cigars, then, yeah, I'll start getting into th those um, Cubans that, that ain't supposed to be here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but I definitely enjoy my taste of cigars, man. You know, it, it keep the hex off me. I ain't, like, I'm proud to say I ain't smoked in three years. So, you know, if you knew me, you knew that was a great accomplishment for me because <laughs> I was every day. And um, especially when I came out here and it was legal too, I could just walk up to the store and go grab me a sack. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, brother. It's a beautiful thing. Now, but, um, now let me ask you this because mm -hmm. we 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 touch we we touching on a lot of things. We can't even get off the phone yet, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Right. You you was a connoisseur of 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 course of hold on let me see if I got it hold on hold on where is it there it is smoke weed every day you was a connoisseur oh, yeah. of that we we uh, it was a big thing in Cleveland there everything but you you uh wanted to get into trucks and when did you when did you start like preparing yourself stop? yeah preparing oh, yourself to stop. In January, in January 21, and I didn't you I stopped because I didn't go to school. I didn't I didn't get my my CDLs until August, so I went cold turkey that whole time. I just watched I just watched um YouTube videos, and I didn't smoke for like seven eight months. Was that nine? Yeah, eight months. I, I went cold turkey. So you went, cold, went cold turkey, turkey right? For so eight months. Did you do anything else to to cigars? I oh. smoke cigars. Okay. I smoke cigars. So wherever I, I, I got a little hex, I just come out and smoke. Not no black and miles, none of that garbage. I smoke cigars. You know what I'm saying? Relax myself. And then the money. You know, the money was 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 a major factor of me not going back. So in in that in that whole eight months, you you just took that whole eight months to get clean. Did you yes. did you go to the go to the uh to the drug test to find out you was clean or did you find out that you was it. clean before you went to the drug test to make sure no i just i just knew i just knew everybody what y'all was saying you know it take about four months so i was gonna double that so i knew it's gonna be eight months and and um and if i'm not mistaken cr england did hair follicles too if i'm not mistaken because I, I went through all that, you know what I'm saying. I just knew I was clean. Like I I, I hadn't smoked in, in in eight months, you know what I'm saying. And I just kept it going. I never went back, cause the money was good. You know I I, I didn't want to risk just to get high. I didn't want to do that. And I've been keeping it going ever since. I didn't take I didn't take no 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 nothing. I didn't shampoo my hair with all them crazy shit. Cause you know I got dreads. I didn't do none of that. I just went cold turkey. January second was my January yeah January second was my last blood. And you yep. just and you just went cold turkey for for eight months and, yep. and they eight went months. they I took a piece nothing. of they took a piece of the dread they 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 yep. took the urine and you you yep. and I was I was good that was it I was good and I smoked heavy. Like I was smoking every day, bro, for years. 
for years. I just went cold turkey for eight months. I went, I went that whole, I went that whole eight months, and I went to school in um, in August. Yeah, want to say, I want to say, yeah, I went in August. Yep, yeah. I went in August, and I've been clean ever since. So, yeah. what do you suggest? What do you, what do you, uh, what would you tell the young cats now that's coming in? Because don't weed, we- don't smoke weed. Get it for eight months, six months. I would say eight, man, because I, I mean, I smoked. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't try no tricks. No, no, none of that. No, no strings, string strings, and no, none of that. Just don't smoke. Just stop. Just stop, man. They're gonna catch you. Just stop and get your money. Just stop. Now, all that tricks and trying to finagle the system, and I'm gonna take this additive and I'm gonna go get no. Just stop. That's my recommendation. I don't know. Everybody else different. I just stop cold turkey, bro. You stop cold turkey, but have you thought about CBD? No, I'm not doing none of that, bro. I'm not doing nothing. I'm keeping this money. I'm not doing none of that. I don't do none of that. I smoke cigars, bro. I'm not doing none of that. And I'm and I'm in a city where this shit is legal. You can open up your window and smell weed. It's you gotta. I'm, man, listen. I'm from Cleveland, man. I, I I got a strong will, man. I'm a player, man. I, hey, if I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna let no sucker talk me into smoking no weed to get my get my money messed up, man. I'm not doing it. You already mentioned that you're in a city where where it's heavy. What about what about being in the area, being around people that is smoking it? Would man, that would that I'm emanate not, no, going? No, 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 I'm no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm like saying, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, not, I know you're not doing it. I'm just saying you're walking down the street and everything. You say you can smell okay. it in the air. So it's, what it's is that? Good. Is that going to emanate onto the body like secondhand smoke mm-hmm. or some shit oh, like that? No, nah, man, no. Nah, you would have to, man. You would have to be. Man, you would have to be damn near in a gas chamber for it to be in your body like that. Now, just because you smell it, it ain't going to get in your system like that, bro. You got to smoke some weed for it to be all like that. You but can't that's what I'm saying. What about p- being around people that are, that, that is more, you walking down I the street? Around, you, I don't, no, nah, you can't, no, nah, nah, man, you can't, it ain't going to get you like that, bro. It ain't that simple. You got to inhale that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to inhale it. And, you know, I don't, I don't do none of that shit, so. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm well, good. well, Highway Kurt, man, thank you very much. Thank I know you, you're sir. a busy guy, thank man, you. and we, we got it in. Yo, got you, you in. stay safe out there, my guy, and we'll you get too, back at it. You too. I thank you, too, and thanks to everybody who's listening and everything. Shout out to my man, Eddie. Shout out to Night Transportation. Shout out to Menace DJs. Shout out to Cleveland. Shout out to Vegas, baby, and I'm out. Out of here. Later, bro. All right. All right. Rock the bell. L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L